the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, my dear friends in Christ. We thank God for the privilege of seeing the first Sunday in the month of November 2018. Thank you, Jesus. Our reading is taken from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 12, from verses 28 to 34. And our topic is titled, Love God with all your strength. Love God with all your strength. Amen. Today's message is a unique one. Today, the gospel focuses on the greatest commandment, which is love. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. We love God with every fiber of our being, because God first loved us. Love the Lord your God with all you are, whoever you are. Whatever you are, whatever you have, love the Lord your God with all you have. Love God with everything in you. When we recognize that it is God who made us, who created us, and gave us all we have, it is very, very important to understand the fact that we must show how much we love God. If God is the one that made you, created you, gave you everything you have, you it is natural that you must love God back. Yes, God has given you. For the fact that you are alive in the land of the living is a show of love of God. Is a show to show you that I love you. You are to show how much you love God Physically, emotionally, financially, people must see that, yes, this son of God loves God. This daughter of Zion loves God. By your actions, you must love others. You must show love. You must assist people. Financially, use your time to show that you love God. Create time to be in his presence. Love one another. Today's invitation for all of us, to all men, to all women, is to love God, not forgetting the fact that God himself loved us first, even when we don't deserve it. Yes, God loves each and every one of us. The scripture says in John 3, 16, which is a very popular one that everyone knows, for God so loved the world that he gave us his son his son jesus christ died for us now bear in mind that you cannot say you love god without loving your neighbor i say it again you cannot say that you love god without loving your neighbor without showing love to one another love your neighbor as you love yourself for love is kind Show kindness to some to others. Love endures. No matter what they have uh, uh, done to you, receive the spirit of endurance. Endure. Love forgives. As you're hearing this message right now, somebody has really hurt you. Remember the topic. Love God with all your strength. So I don't know who is that person that has hurt you, made you so angry, betrayed you, forgive. Because of God. Because you are telling yourself today that you love God, forgive that person. May God help you. May God help us to forgive whoever that has offended us. My dear, it is not easy. But the moment you ask for the grace to forgive, the Lord will give you that grace. And as you receive that grace, may He remain permanent in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Love is not, um, love is generous. Love is generous. Share what you have with others. Assist somebody with your resources. Love is un unconditional. You cannot love unconditional 
Yes, it's unconditional. You cannot love because it's okay. I'm loving you because of this or that or that. No. It is unconditional. For the fact you love God, you can go to any land for God. You can do anything for God. God is telling you right now, because you say you love me, forgive that person that has really hurt you. Forgive that person that you say over your dead body, will you forgive? If you really love God, it's a call for you to forgive. Love does not judge. Don't judge. Allow God to do so. I pray for you today that each and every one of us will receive the grace to love God without reservation. Let us love God without reservation to Christ our Lord. Amen. Happy Sunday and happy new month once again. May this month of November bring us greater testimonies in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. You are highly blessed. You are highly blessed. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you.